Hello everybody, it is Joe here and welcome to Transport Fever 2. Transport Fever 2 is a game that we've not visited in quite a while and uh, we're going to put that right basically. We're going to be starting a new series on this absolutely spectacular map. We find ourselves currently in the town of Piddlemouth, or Piddlemouth. Well, it's Plymouth, isn't it? So uh, I imagine that's Piddlemouth. And uh, this is the, uh, it's a Great Western Railway map by JK on the Steam Workshop. You can download and play along as well. Free to download as always. And it's basically a fictional map, which I imagine is set on the south coast of England. You've got like a kind of an Isle of Wight sort of a deal going on there. We'll move up to, uh, you know, there's a nice uh, peninsula around here, Temple. A bit of marshland in the middle, Mudton La Marche, and Great Mudton. Uh, that should make interesting crossing for some uh, for some railway stuff later on. And what this is basically going to be, it's going to be a UK themed map. But of course, because it's not a real map, we've not got any pressure to uh, you know to be kind of making things realistic, which is what I am going for today. Oh, that's what I'm going for with this series. So uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and I do hope that you enjoy it. Now we're going to start down at this end of the map near North Kilton or North Kiltown and Little Astreeth, uh, which, uh, which seems like a really good place to start, to be honest with you. We've got two reasonably sized towns which could cope with a passenger connection slash a bus connection, maybe. Uh, but we've also got a little bit of industry to create some food, which both of these towns are requiring. So without further ado, let's let's get that on. Uh, let's let's get things moving in that sense. Right, well, first of all, what we want to do. I mean, this map when you get it, it's designed to be played from the 1800s. So as you can see, all of the roads are currently uh, well dirt tracks. That they just are dirt tracks, aren't they? So uh, as we go along, we're going to have to update the roads that we're going to be using into the nice asphalt roads that we've uh, we've come to know and love. There's no point having modern vehicles if they're going to run around on uh, on old infrastructure, is there? So I think that this is what we are going to do first of all. We're going to have one of these nice, sizable fellows here at the food processing plant. We could do with the road kind of. You know, that, that road's a lot darker, isn't it, than, than that, maybe. Maybe that'll update as we go. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so that's going to leave for a lot of grain being able to be brought in, food to be taken out, etc, etc. We perhaps don't need as many, would you call them platforms? Bays? We don't need as many bays as that gives us. But, I mean, we we could food down there by truck, and there by truck. You know, the, there's lots of kind of potential in that sense. So uh, yeah, right. Let's let's get a bit of this now. I'm going to be using this one rather than this one first of all. He says he's not looked at what that's producing. 200, 200. Are that? Yes, it's not like transport. Uh, it's not like Open TTD, is it? Uh, you know, they they're not producing one each. They they just kind of produce more as and when. Right. Well, of which case we should use the one that's furthest away. Because logic dictates that that's the one that you'll make the most money from. Because you're transporting your goods further, aren't you? Right, we'll, we'll stick you next to there. And uh, what we shall do, we'll pop a depot. Pop a depot down here. Uh, right, okay. Can we put you parallel? I quite like you. Oh, you're, you're going to be raised up, are you? We'll put you there, then. With a nice little embankment between the two. Oh, lovely. Oh, there's a, there's a car here. Oh, it's a taxi. Maybe he's taxing people to the... Oh, it's Katie Kelly. Where's she going? Destination industrial building. Ah, yes. Now, what I have got turned on as well is uh, workers. So the, the industries will require workers to be taken to them. So, uh, so you know, that, that's good. What trucks have we got? We've got an Austin FX4. Isn't that a taxi? I think it is, so we'll, we'll ignore that. And uh, we're on the Sarah. We're in 1960, so, we, you know, we've got proper vehicles. Uh, but I've not done it too late that, uh, you know, we're going to unlock all the cool stuff straight away. So we will be unlocking things as we go. Now, what have we got? We've got a tipper truck. You can have some grain in you. So, so let's buy. I can't remember how many we need. Should we have ten? Ten seems like a good number. Uh, now, let's have a think. You need to go there and fully load. And then you need to go there. Oh, are they are they setting up? 
We'll have an unlimited waiting time because I've asked them to fully load there. And uh, you can be North Killtown. That's a double T. North North Killtown. Yeah, that's how you spell it. Uh, Grain Trucks 1. And, uh, and I quite like a space between trucks and one. There we go. Right. Okie dokie. So you're flying away. Uh, you're whizzing off even. You're going to have some grain. Now, can these trucks... These trucks can carry grain, can't they? Because they auto-refit on Transport Fever. I can't click on the blithering thing. Right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's follow him along. So, obviously, it's... Um, we're starting in a much better era, I find. This is the kind of era that I always play. And, you know, where you've got trucks actually doing proper things. They're flying around doing... You know, they're doing what they're doing. Your trains are fast. We're not just limited to 25 miles an hour. And uh, providing these trucks actually deliver uh, enough grain, I mean, that could even warrant a train on it at some point. It depends what we're at in terms of production. Uh, we want to get production really high, don't we? Uh, shall we Shall we even pop the... Uh, oh, hang on. No, this is this is not open TTD. You cannot speed it up with, uh, with the 3 key. That's, that's not how it works now. You need to be using your uh, your little watch call it's in the bottom corner. I mean, these trucks can still only do 37 miles an hour, so you know it's it's by no means uh, fast. That is faster than than the trucks would be, but they're, they're not fast. You know, they're they're not earth shatteringly quick, are they? We're not going to win any land speed records from the trucks. Okie dokie, so you guys are, uh, yeah, there we go, you're, you're just filling up there, right? Yeah, I think we need more trucks. I think we do. Um, right. Right, let's have, uh, let's have another ten of you. Actually, no, let's just have five. Tipper trucks onto that line, please. I think five will be enough, won't it? I mean, there's, there's five there. We might not even have needed them, to be honest with you. But, I mean, production here is going to increase, isn't it? We're, we're transporting... I think that this is like what we did last month, because obviously we are transporting things now, aren't we? And can you expand? You, I don't think you can expand, can you? No! Oh, well, that's annoying. Oh, what have we got? We've got uh, a Class 110... And, uh, and some British Rail Blue stuff. Oh, well, we like that. Let's, uh, I think that a, a passenger train might be uh, might be something we need kind of shuttling up and down here. A little Class 110, maybe? I mean, North Killtown is, is bigger than Little Astrid, so I kind of see this as a, a little shuttle up and down. That would be good, especially if it would be around here. I mean, where's the commercial... The commercial kind of end, and it's about here, isn't it? Commercial and industrial. Right, well, hold on to your hats, because we are actually starting to make a bit of money there. Right, let's uh, let's see. Are you? I don't want to have got too many trucks. You see, they seem to be filling up at quite a reasonable rate, don't they? But I don't want them queuing too much here, because that farm's not going to get any bigger. I thought it would, but it's not gonna. Uh, what are you? You're not our trucks, are you? No, oh, one of you is. And there's another one of you there. Another one of you there. Yeah, we, we've perhaps got too many trucks, but it's not the end of the world. Because, you know, it, it, it does to have a healthy queue there. And uh, that's, that's excellent. So if we're going to be producing for here, we need to actually transport some food as well. Otherwise, production will stop. We don't like it when production stops. So I think North Killtown is uh, is going to be one of our first places to deliver the food to. Now the one good thing about Transport Fever 2, and I, I absolutely love Transport Fever 2 for this, is the fact that you don't um, you don't have to put up with the nonsense of having to impress the towns, otherwise they will fall out with you. Uh, so that's actually a really a really nice nice thing. Uh, what's the catchment area? I, I can't see the. Ah, yeah, there we go. Land use layer. I think a, a, a nice depository. There. That that covers most of what we're doing there, doesn't it? Pretty much. And if you even build a small 
uh, a small, where's the, where's the city road? There we go. If you even build a small road from there to there, you're leaving. Get those there. There you, uh, there you go. No, I've played this before. I know how it works. Right. We need a, a bigger road down there because we can. We'll upgrade you. Oops, we've had to delete uh, one of those chaps, but never mind. And uh, I reckon five... Five vehicles? Is, is five vehicles enough? I don't think five vehicles is enough, is it? That looks pathetic in that huge, great big walloping depot on its own. Uh, what can you take? You can take all cargo. Well, what can take food? None of you. Okie dokie. Never mind. Right. New line. Uh, you will load. Full of food. Is there any way the Ritz isn't that I can I can specify that I only want him to take food? North Kilt. Oops. Town. Food trucks. Guys, I literally feel like a new starter on this game. It's been so long. Um, right, hang on. Go back to the depot, please. Yeah, just, just the depot. There we go. Where are we? Get rid of you. Yep. Yeah, out you come. Way straight round. And in. Right, you're in there. Now, I would like you, please... There is a way, there's a way you can do it. I'm sure there's a way you can do it. I feel such an idiot. Right, bye. I'm sure you could fit it so that it would only carry one type of cargo. I'm absolutely certain you could. Details. All cargo. Oh, it, do you know what? It doesn't matter. No, nope, not maintenance. Uh, do you know, it, it just doesn't matter, does it? We'll, we'll get you out there, chaps. I mean, are you? You're making nearly a hundred thousand every time. That's excellent. Let's uh, let's get repaying some of that loan. We'll repay it to ten thousand. I, I, you know, we're on thirty thousand because that's when you start, really, isn't it? I mean, that's saying that the earnings is shocking, partially because I borrowed a load of money. Um, because it, it was 1850, wasn't it? So it only gave you 5,000, or 5 million, I can't remember. It, basically, it gave you not enough. Uh, where, where have all the food trucks gone? Where have they all gone? Have they, have they not all just come out the depot? Did I not buy five of you? Oh, we only set one of you going. Yeah, duh. There we go. So I'm going to pull in here. We're going to unload the grain. It's a, it's a shame, I, I love this cargo station, because you can have lots of things waiting, and as you get articulated lorries, it looks really good, doesn't it? Like a goods hub, a goods exchange for trucks. Um, the problem that we have, however, is that, uh, you, you know, I'd, I'd like it to be able to, you know, there'd be a bit of goods around here. Maybe I could do something like that with some assets. You know, a bit of decoration, a bit of decorative assets. Uh, we are just going to... Change that to Terminal 10. There we go. Down there you go. You can go round. And the reason for that is they're all going to queue and block the grain delivery. So we'll, we'll pop you down on Terminal 10. Where are you going? Oh, you're, you're doing a, a bit of a U-turn kind of a deal. There we go. Oh, this road's getting busy, isn't it, between the two? Between Little Astreeth and, uh, and North Killtown. So I think... It would be quite nice to get some sort of a, uh, a passenger station going on. What about Network Southeast? I, I do love a bit of Network Southeast. Uh, we will have no wires. No knitting, thank you. We'll use the high speed tracks, because why not? And uh, do you reckon. I reckon two of them. 160 should be enough, shouldn't it? it? It should be. I don't. I don't really know what I'm planning to do in terms of the passenger side of things, but we'll uh, we'll pop it there, and uh, and we'll we'll configure you. Uh, my goodness me, there's a lot of options, isn't there? 
Uh, we'll pop you on the end there. So what what are you? You're a medium station building. Can I can I not shove you on? Can I not shove you next door? Maybe I can do in a little bit. So you're on the road, aren't you? There we go. You're horrendous. I uh, I want to actually build a road past you, so that you're not like having to. There we go. What's that looking like? All ah, right, it's actually at road level now, so that's a significant improvement, isn't it? There we go, and you can you can go up there. So I'm gonna have it coming round here. I mean, we've even got. Look at that. That's that's a little bit of little bit of terrain to follow. Uh, so we shall use. We'll use the high speed tracks so that it looks uh, looks correct. We'll use 15, 25, 25 coming out of the station. We do not want any catenary. No, thank you. Build you around there. We'll, we'll get a junction going on about there. And then what about a bit of 50? Can we, can we have 50? We've also got the realistic braking mod on as well. I, I do like the realistic braking mod. How about a bit of 75? I think that's... Uh... Oh, we're going to have 50 here just to keep the noise down while it's travelling through the town. Because obviously the town is going to expand around here, isn't it? And then that can kind of bend around there like that. Because then that railway, the main line is going to shoot off that way, isn't it? So, uh, so that is, that's what we want it to do. Right, okay. Uh, now, bit of 50 junction. 50 is an acceptable speed for a junction, isn't it? Uh, it well, it would be if, uh, if the junction actually worked. Right, we'll, we'll bring you there. Can we, can we keep you flat? Yeah, we can. Right. Up to a bit of 60, because this can be single track, can't it? I don't imagine that we're going to have the uh, the kind of same demand. We'll snake it through here. Oh, beautiful. We'll kind of get it to hug the land a little bit. It'll be a bit of a... Uh, oh, hang on, what are we unlocking? Do a class 104 in green. Oh, I like that one. Maybe green is the colour we need for our branch lines. Maybe it is. Maybe, uh, how, can, can you go please? Yeah, there we go. Maybe green is the colour for branch lines. I, I hadn't really, I've not thought this through in the slightest. Um, right, okay. Well, where's your commercial district? I don't really want to be, oh, of course, it's in the most difficult area to reach. Of course it is. Um, right, okie dokie. Um, right, well, we'll build a station. I think one platform should be enough, and I don't think you need to be 160 metres either. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll shove you in there. Kind of backing onto... Ah, there you go. And uh, let's go and edit the station. So we shall use in the passenger. We'll just have a small, a small terminus station. There, lovely. Yep, that'll do. And a bit of road, bit of road. Can we, can we have a bus station? We could have a bus station. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a bus station there. Uh, I kind of want you to. There we go, three buildings will be removed. I didn't really want to remove the three buildings, but that works. There we go, we've got a nice little bus station there. And uh, and we're running out of money. Of course we're running out of money. That is that is literally what we do on Transport Fever, is run out of money. Uh, right, you need to come round here. So you're going to come out across the track... Okie dokie. And then we'll bring you up to 60, because you're going to go out here like this. Bring you down a little bit. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get across here. Well, I, well, I do. It's obviously going to be on a bridge, isn't it? But it's going to be very expensive. Uh, single track bridge, what are you... Not as expensive as I first thought. Although I ideally don't want you on a wooden bridge. Let's have a look. What can we, can we, can we have you, can we have you doing that? That's a pretty viaduct, isn't it? 
It's very pretty. How much does it cost, though? One million? Oh, we'll, we'll have a bit of that. There we go. Lock it in. Lovely. And uh, how do we... Come on, connect. Oh, beautiful. Uh, we'll have a we'll have a bit of a uh, yeah we'll have that we'll smooth that out. Right, we'll we'll increase the brush size and the strength. There we go, and the and the circle. Oh, lovely. It it looks almost like it's like that in real life, doesn't it? Oh, smashing. Right, okie dokie. So we are gonna need some signals. Where are the signals? 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 Um, right, it's just quite difficult trying to remember, uh, right, one way, there, and, uh, and there, and there, okie dokie, and a one way signal there, that should do the trick, I, I don't think we need, should we, should we have a few more signals there, and uh, maybe another couple, maybe another one there. Maybe another one there. Perhaps that's too many signals. Perhaps it's not. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see. Can we get a depot down? Let's, let's have a, a nice depot. Um, I think that a depot around about here would be, uh, be good. And I shall tell you for why. Because we've already got the crossover, haven't we? So uh, if, we, if we build that there, we'll have a bit of a 15 mile an hour. Uh, 15 miles an hour out of the depot. Obviously things won't be using that frequently, will they? Uh, right, we're going to put that signal, though, on the other side. So that if the train on our branch line is just coming over the bridge, we can send things out of the depot. Because it makes sense to do that, doesn't it? Now let's have a look. Oh yeah, I put things on no end gear as well, so... Uh, right, multiple units, diesel. Uh, ooh, the class 20, double. No. Uh, one engine. Why would why would we want one engine? I mean, it would be cheaper to have one engine. Oh, hang on, I, I didn't want to do that. Right, so the class one ten. What? You can only carry twenty nine people. That's ridiculous. Uh, where's the where's the kind of the the, the information? I, I I don't want this. I, I want I want to see the information. There we go. 29 people, that is obscene. I still can't understand why you'd want it on one engine. Is, is that just if you want it to be slower? Uh, I can only assume so. Right, so two car, two engines, 29 people. That, that's just not enough. What about three in? Three engines, because we, we, we want it to be able to accelerate fairly quick, don't we? Capacity 42. Um, do you know what? Let's, let's sling a three car on. With three engines, of course. Uh, five million, right. We're going to have to borrow some money now. I mean, that... I, I can't help but feeling that that is not enough. Uh, right, hang on. I, I don't... No, I, I, there, right, bye. Okie dokie, right, let's go into the lines. So you're going to go there, and then you're going to go to there. So you're, you're literally in the middle, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not convinced. Really not convinced, but, uh, but hey-ho. It does not fill me with confidence that we've done that, and uh, and it's it's having a moment. I'm hoping that the game has in fact not crashed, and it's just because this is the first diesel train that it's uh, that it's sent out in quite a while. Ah, there we go. It's not crashed. I really wish it wouldn't do that because I was very worried. Rightio, so here we go. Our first train of the uh, of the series. It's a BR Green Class 104. Oh, it sounds rough as old boots, doesn't it? It's pretty beautiful, isn't it, really? Oh, it's got a working destination as well. White LED, by the looks of things. It was ahead of its time. Shall we, uh, let's have a ride along. Oh, smashing. 
Can we, uh, can we, can we kind of... Let's, uh, let's... Nope, you you How do we go up and down? I, I kind of remember this. Ah! Oh, look at that. In with the driver. So I'm hoping that eventually this is going to, you know, when, when we've got realistic speed limits, we're going to be able to have high speed lines, kind of slow stopping lines. I don't know how it's going to work with the, with the stopping services. Perhaps we'll have train stations at our industries that stopping trains can stop at. Which begs the question, maybe I should have put a station here, but uh, well, it's, it's the sort of thing we can work out while we're playing, isn't it? Oh, we've even got opening doors, the slam door DMUs, very nice. We could perhaps do with the bus into Kilt Town, couldn't we, or Kilt Town? Oh, beautiful. It really does look good, doesn't it? Perhaps a tram? Maybe a bus? I think a bus. Um, we could have a bus up to here. We could have a bus up to here. Uh, we, we could even. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Let's have a little bus. Do we have uh, kind of a... You know, I don't really want to make a big deal of it. Kind of something like that would be nice if we could if we could stick that on the road. No, I, I don't think it's happening, is it? Right, let's have one-way streets. I think that's as good as we're getting. Right, let's sling a bus stop on there. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. So that's, uh, that's that, and then we're going to go down into the bus station. I, I want a nice bus station for this. Do we have such a thing? We do. We've got that. That's quite a, a sizable chap. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the one. There we go. We'll sling him in there. And, uh, and we just need a few stops out of town, don't we, really? Uh, I thought it would be a lot more modern starting in the 60s, I don't know why. There we go, we'll, we'll bring you up to about there. We'll pop you down there, you can be a bus stop, I, I think it's going to expand isn't it? Um, right, okay, new lines. So you're going to go there, there, to there, to there. Oh yes, I've got to remember as well, uh, this this particular game likes to randomly... Oh hang on, they're different bus stops, I don't know why, but never mind. It likes to randomly kind of do this swivelly round thing. Uh, oh hang on. North Killtown to... where does that stop? Little... Little Astreath. Branch, because it's a branch line, isn't it? And this can be North Kill Town Bus 1. Imaginative names as always, there. Uh, right. Uh, where's the where's the watch call it? The watch a diddler. Um, I think that four buses should be enough on this, but what buses can we use? We can use the busing. That can carry ten people. The Mercedes-Benz can carry fourteen. The eight, eight Churig... No, you can carry... Ah, oh, right, different specs can carry different amounts. Um, what about this green chap? I like him. You can only carry ten. I'm not so keen on the yellow. The the blue it's got to be. Right, let's... Four buses. And we can't afford that. We'll borrow up to 20 million. Okay, okay. Get off my back. Right, uh, yeah. So, we'll have four of you. And you can go on North Killtown bus one. Oh, look at them go. Oh, that's beautiful. Looks like a VW camper at the front. Okay, okay, fair dues, I admit it. It looks nothing like... Oh my goodness, we nearly ended up with a truck crashing into the side of us. So the reason that I've got the bus terminating here is that we can bring passengers to the North Killtown Processing Plant. Um, which, I mean, they'll, they'll never come through here again unless they're going to the depot, will they? But, uh, yeah, we can bring passengers up here. And it, it's quite nice that your bus routes... 
you know, you can have longer bus routes. Will it be a busy line? I don't know. I'm hoping it'll take quite a few people down to the station. Thank you, Mr. Autosave. Cheering us up no end. Now, I imagine those buses are going to go sailing past. They're not all going to uh, come in here, are they? Well, obviously, there's no passengers there at the moment. We'll, we'll speed it up so that we can get down into town. I mean, he can do 30... He can go faster than the trucks. My God, look at him go. 50 miles an hour. Whoa. So he's, he's... Oh, no, he's not doing his thing. There's a couple of people waiting there. I mean, the, the kind of where we're going to get loads of people is from the, the residential area there. I was thinking maybe a circle line round here. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, there we go. Right, you're, you're going in there. And of course, next time we're going to be putting in... Uh, well, I mean, Little Astreet seems to be coping quite well, to be honest with you. Passenger demand, get a bit of residential going. Where's the train? Ah, oh, there he is. Is he doing 60? Yes, he's doing 60. Oh, look at him go. He's loving it, isn't he? What's his max speed? Uh, 70. Oh, fair do. Well, he's a fairly good train for this branch line, isn't he? Two people on. Maybe I could have done with, uh, you know, maybe I could have used a two car after all. Well, there we go. That is Transport Fever 2. Our Piddlemouth Coast series. That's, uh, I think we've kicked off fairly well there. And uh, I do hope that you're going to stick around for the duration of the journey. If you did enjoy this, then do of course sling a like at the video using the like button underneath the video, it's always appreciated. And of course, if you think, oh, I'd quite like to follow this, or so stick around, click that subscribe button so you get notified when new videos come along. Thanks so much for watching once again, and until next time, cheerio, goodbye for now.